So today we have the battle of the year. Of course, we have the new uh, Icon digital torque wrench and the equivalent here in Snap-on. You know, we're gonna check the accuracy before, we're gonna run the 1000 cycles, and then we're gonna check the accuracy after and see how they compare. So let's go ahead and get them out of the cases here. Then we'll run through the specs real quick and we'll go right into testing. So as we look at the specs here, you can see accuracy is the same. The torque range is the same. The very few little differences, of course, you know, one is made in Taiwan, one is made in the USA, and the Icon has a 72 tooth ratchet head, whereas the Snap-on has a 80 tooth. Let's go ahead and get them on the CDI tester there. We'll get a baseline audit, then we'll cycle them a thousand times. So we're gonna first start with the Icon here at 50 foot-pounds. Now we got to go to 150. And 250. Snap on. Then we got to go up to 150. So here's the numbers after the first audit. Uh, this is also factoring in a little bit of my accuracy error. You know, some of it I was like 50.1. So I took that 0.1 into account here. So here on the percentage graphs, that after we factor in the plus or minus 0.5% there of the actual tester, uh, for the most part, they are within spec. So you can see the snap-on after the factor of the plus or minus 0.5% there is a little bit out of the claimed 2% accuracy. So I'm gonna go ahead and cycle each of these a uh, thousand times here. I'm gonna set the torque wrench at half of max, so 125. And we'll also get the decibel here of hopefully, you know, how loud the buzzer is. I did get them both up to uh, 1,000 cycles. So now that we've done 1,000 cycles, I'm gonna throw them back on the tester here, audit them again, and then we'll compare and go from there. I did take into account again the human error, and you can see these numbers. And as we go to the graphs for percentage, they actually got better. We're gonna go ahead and do torque angle now. So I got an old fashioned angle gauge here fixed to a fastener. Uh, to do angle, you need a torque of at least um, 10 foot-pounds is what I found. So you can't just do an angle, you gotta have at least 10 foot-pounds of force so that the torque wrench here will know that you're actually you know, doing an angle. That being said, it needed it for the Icon and it also needs that roughly 12 foot-pounds for the Snap-on as well. We'll go ahead, we'll do 90 first here. Ninety-two. 
So as we look at the angle results, uh, you can see I did 90, 180, 270, and 360 with this dial style gauge. The highest deviation is two degrees. I would say maybe one degree because of the actual dial itself. You guys know from using these, they're not always 100% because of the O-ring in there. But nonetheless, I would say these torque wrenches are pretty much in spec for angle. Final results, I'm a little surprised. I'm definitely gonna be honest with you there. I thought the Snap-on would actually be better. Uh, I planned on, you know, after this, selling the Icon, but now <laughs> I honestly don't know what, what to say. Uh, the Snap-on is not as accurate as the Icon from my test results. You can definitely see the Icon is sub plus or minus 2%. The LED indicators on both of these, the icon was better. I'll show you this right here. You can see, you know, on top of the torque wrench, there's more LEDs on the icon, which gives us a more clear indication of how close to the desired torque we actually are versus the snap on here. You can see we go from orange right to green, and right when those two green LEDs light up, you're at it. A lot better indication uh, on the icon, the LED on the face versus here, you don't have that. But I will say, I think there's a higher pixel count in the snap-on display than the icon. It, it just seemed to be a lot clearer, even though they're pretty much the same size. Ease of use, I would say the icon was easier to navigate the menu. I, I just found it easier to navigate with these buttons here versus on the Snap-on. I don't know how to truly explain it. It just seemed like things were easier to navigate, to get to, you know, with the icon. Now, when you get in the menu, the menus are pretty much the same. It's just how you're getting to the menu. A couple other things I noticed, this joint is pretty tight right here, you know, where the head connects to the actual beam. But when you take a look at the Snap-on, there's quite a bit of, I mean, I, hopefully you can see that on camera there. There's quite a bit of slop there in that connection. Now I did check the torque right here and the cross through bolt is tight. So I would assume that this play is, is normal. Now to me, that might be something that's actually affecting that overall torque. So just be, just be aware of that as well. I don't, I don't care for that at all right there. Other than that, again, they're, they are about the same length. The Snap-on has a higher tooth count ratchet head. Not much more, but still something to factor. I do believe the Icon is based off of the Cornwell. Some of you guys may have seen the Cornwell digital torque wrench that they want $650 for. Basically looks almost the same, except for it's got like a plastic rubberized grip instead of this knurling. Nonetheless, I think both are, are pretty good torque wrenches. Again, anything under plus or minus 4%, I think is pretty good. I mean, it really depends on what you're doing. I would have liked to seen the Snap-on actually sub 2%, but just being over 2% to me is not a real, real big deal. So a couple other things to keep in mind, you know, we have to talk about the price again. $333 versus, I wanna say this was $880 for this torque wrench. You only have a two year warranty on the Snap-on, whereas you have a lifetime warranty on the Icon. Now that doesn't cover calibration, and for calibration, I'll leave the address below where uh, Icon recommends you sending the torque wrench, but of course for Snap-on, that would be to your tool truck guy or even snap on directly and they would go ahead and recalibrate the wrench if needed. John's pick is gonna be the Icon. I thought it was gonna be the snap on, but after my test results, clearly it's the Icon. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for more.